What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 10 video. Today, we're using the fish. <laughs> so yeah, um, basically what happened is a couple of days ago I was really bored, so I hopped in the, uh, the Pokemon Showdown VGC chat room, and I said, hey guys, give me a bad Pokemon and I'll build a team around it, and a couple of people suggested Whizcash, and I was like, okay, yeah. So what ended up happening is I uh, used this team in a room tour later on that day and I ended up getting second and I lost because of a rock slide miss on Lando, but I would have won the room tour with Whizcash and it wasn't like a small tour, it was a decent sized tour, so, you know, it, it's just funny, it's just funny. Anyway, today we're going to be using this team. If you guys enjoy this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. That's my comment question of the day. Between Whizcash, Gastrodon, Swampert, and any other water ground type you might be able to think of. What is your favorite of the three? I have always loved Whiskash the most. I think it's adorable, and it was one of my favorite Gen 3 uh, Pokemon growing up. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section. And let me fix this. Should I? Technically, anticipation is ideal here. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I am not here to sell you on Whiskash. This Pokemon is bad, but we're using it regardless. Whiskash is essentially, it plays a lot like Swampert, but instead of Flip Turn, you have Fissure. <laughs> which is funny. Uh, so yeah, top top 10 reasons to use Wishcash. Numbers 10 through 2 are going to be It's Funny, and number 1 is Fissure. So yeah, uh, Wishcash here is EV'd to be just a bulky Assault Vest Pokemon uh, with Icy Wind. It can slow down the rest of the team, which is really useful for Zacian Crowned in the Calyrex Shadow matchup. Uh, we have Scald to spread around Burns, we have Fissure for funny memes, and we have Ice Beam because this thing's actually able to 1v1 Landorus uh, both forms, so that's really useful. The spread actually is a guaranteed 3-hit KO from Sacred Sword on plus 1 Zacian, and we have a guaranteed 2-hit KO on plus 2 Timid Moonblast from Xerneas. So yeah, uh, that's actually a really solid way just to use this Pokemon. It can eat hits like a, like a monster on the special side. If this thing got Snarl, it wouldn't actually be too bad. Next up, we have standard safety goggles Incineroar. Oh, also the speed. Uh, it's just speed crept to outspeed most other Incineroar. Since a lot of them are running like 28 speed, I'm just going 36 since they have the same speed tier. So you see 84 there, 85 here. Standard Incineroar here, safety goggles, fake out, snarl, flare, blitz, parting shot. We have Regieleki with a focus sash, volt switch, Electra, uh, protect, thunderbolt. Standard substitute, Zacian crowned. Uh, Mental Herb Amoongus, grass not clear, smog spore, rage powder. Just a very bulky set. And we have a Life Orb, Landorus, Incarnate, Sheer Force, obviously. So yeah, this is going to be one of those videos where I'm like, I'm going to lose, but it's going to be a fun time. I mean, it's a good team. It's a good team with a bad Pokemon. That's the best way to put it. Uh, let's go ahead and get some games. As we face off against Sun, which... I mean, once the Venusaur is gone, Whizcash actually goes crazy here. Look at all the Pokemon that hit Whizcash. It's just Venusaur. So we play our cards right. We'll be fine. I'm going to go ahead and lead off Incineroar Whizcash, actually, because an Icy Wind doesn't seem bad. And if I can Fissure something, like if I end up against the Sack Attack, I could go for a Scald Burn, but I think Fissure would be funny. Uh, I didn't run Earth Power on this thing because I thought Scald and Icy Wind were better. I could drop Ice Beam for, um, for what is it called, uh, Earth Power, but I think that I'm better off just running Ice Beam for beating Landos a little bit more directly. Zacian in the back is obviously going to be very good, and I think my last Mon, uh, it's between Amoongus and Lando, I'll just go Lando. As they end up leading off with Venusaur Groudon, that's perfectly fine by me. I should be able to fake out this Groudon, and they should want to go for a Sleep Powder on me. I don't think they go for the Whizcash KO um, immediately. And if they do have Leaf Storm, then that actually isn't very great for them because they're going to be at minus two, which makes it so they can't KO my, my Zacian. So I'll fake out the Groudon, and I'll just Icy Wind. I could also Scald, but I think Icy Wind's a little bit better. Let's see if I immediately lose this thing. So they go for that. Go ahead and sleep powder me, please. So they energy bomb me, straight up KO. I lose the whiz cash immediately. Good game. Great, great game. Great game. Um, they're probably running weather ball. I can just snarl protect here. They can't sleep powder me. I would assume they have weather ball on this thing. Yep, there's a sleep powder. That's fine. That's fine. Connect your snarls. Awesome. 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 Um, I could also go for a sub here. <laughs> I mean, that tells me that they don't have... That, that pretty much straight up tells me that they don't have the, um, the Weather Ball. Is Lando more important than Zacian? I'd say Lando's more important than Zacian, so I'm willing to risk a substitute. Yeah, there we go. Nice. 
That's actually really great for us because now they don't have the offensive pressure to actually deal with us. I can go ahead and Flare Blitz here into the Incineroar and go for the Behemoth Blade as they just forfeit. Congratulations, yeah. If you bank on Sleep Powder to land, if you want to win, like you, you, you can't, you can't really expect to win them all. Uh, Sleep Powder is a great move and all, and I run it on my own. Venusaur, I would consider Sleep Powder ideal in this format, but obviously if you miss one, you, you can't rely on, on landing it to win. Like that can't always be your win con. I'm going to go ahead and lead off with... Whiskash isn't terrible here. It isn't terrible. There is a Rillaboom, but we have a lot of tools to deal with that. Um, I'm actually really feeling the Amoongus in this game. Amoongus looks awesome. What I could do is I could lead off Whiskash Amoongus, bring the Incinera in the back in my Zacian. And what that will allow me to do is draw away a fake out from the Whiscash as we see they actually have Earthshore Rapid Strike Talonflame. What I can do here is just go for the Icy Wind since they're probably just going to Tailwind up. Or even taunt my Amoongus. They shouldn't be able to KO my Amoongus. I can actually just go for a Spore. There's no reason to Rage Powder. I'd like to Spore that Urshfu because it's really nice for my Incineroar in the back. And they have only one switch in, which isn't great. So I'll Spore. Let's see if they switch out of here. They shouldn't be able to KO me. Oh, it seems that they are straight up offensive Talonflame. That's concerning. <laughs> That's concerning. Uh, I miss my Icy Wind on the Urshfu, which actually kind of sucks there. Uh, but what I can do here is bank on the Fissure. <laughs> Not really. Uh, obviously, man, this sucks. That sucks. I really didn't expect them to be able to straight up KO me with that. Hmm. They could have Quick Guard on the Talonflame, which is a concern of mine. We're probably going to lose this game anyway, so I might as well. I might as well go for the funny move. Please, 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 please. Please, please, Whizcash, Whizcash, please. Please, please. Oh, <laughs> no. Uh, we're actually guaranteed to tank this hit, though. I'll do it again. I'll freaking do it again, dude. I will do it again. Uh, I'm also going to... Let me think. I could Parting Shot the Zacian. Is they close combat me? I'll do it again. I probably lose anyways, but I want to land a fissure before I do. Ah, <laughs> okay, yeah, that's game, that's game. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, good game, good game. There was a, it's funny, cause it's a 30% chance to land. And when I was playing with this team, just, you know, bored, uh, I landed like zero fissures, like absolutely zero. I only landed one against a Xerneas, which was obviously like a game winning thing, but that's just funny. Uh, let me think. Uh, Calyrex Shadow. I definitely like the Whizcash on lead here. And the Regieleki. What I can actually do is protect Regieleki and go for the Icy Wind. Since they're more than likely going to want to fake out that thing. And Cinder in the back is obviously pretty good in this matchup. As long as I can get rid of Mianxiao early. So we'll do that. Yeah, I mean, I'm using a Whizcash. There's a good reason I'm on an alt account right now. There's a very good reason I'm on an alt account. And it's this guy. Let me check something. Anticipation. Hmm. Has that been activating? I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> Obviously, I don't want to use Oblivious because it's useless. I'm running all special moves and I can't, like, I mean, like, actually, yeah, I'm running Assault Vest. I'm already pretty much taunted. Like, that's useless. Okay. Um. I have good reason to believe they would fake out Reggie Lucky here, so I'm going to protect Icy Wind. And then I should be able to Volt Switch on the Mian Chow and go for a Scald on Entei for damage. If they fake out my Whiskash, I'm going to go cry. Nope. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. As I get the Icy Wind off there. And I can Scald this Entei now. I could also Fissure, but it's just not worth it. Or maybe I get rid of Mian Chow early. Mian Chow early would be a great KO to get. Uh, I think I'm going to go for it. Scald into Volt Switch should do it, and then I can just get in my Incineroar. Or I just KO it anyways. Get in the Incineroar here. One of their best counters to Incineroar is gone now. Sacred Fire shouldn't really be doing much. Critical hit kind of sucks. Crit? No? Okay. <laughs> Probably Nihiligo? Yeah. There's Nihiligo. I do have... Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I have options. Yo, they don't know how many options I have. I'm going to Icy Wind again and fake out the Nihiligo. They might be scared of Earth Power. They could be scared of Earth Power, so I'm tempted to... I mean, it doesn't really matter if they protect. I still get the Icy Wind off. 
Yeah, they protect. I'm going to lower the speed in the Entei, and I should be faster at minus two. They got Stone Edge, but I live that. Connect. Awesome. And now I just Icy Wind again, to be honest. And I think I keep the Regilecki. Regilecki is really nice in this matchup. So I'm, I'm willing to give them the Incineroar. Because if I Icy Wind here, let me think, 167 divided by 2 is like 84 or 83 because they round down. So I am faster now. So I can just Icy Wind one more time, give them my Nihiligo, it doesn't matter. So I'll Parting Shot in case they don't Meteor Beam. They're going to Meteor Beam anyways, doesn't really matter. Um, they're going to take my Incineroar. Beast Boost straight up doesn't matter here because i going to get that Speed Drop. Get that Speed Drop. They Snarl. And I can get in my Zacian. I can just get in the Zacian. Now my play here is going to be to go for a Substitute and a Scald. Because they should protect Nihiligo. I can also protect, but I think I get more out of the Substitute in case they double Whizcash. And I don't really need my HP to win in this situation. So I'm willing to go I'm willing to try a sub. I'm willing to try out the sub. Because now Whizcash is faster than Entei. Yeah. We're good. Um, how much did that do? Freaking 24%. Oh, that's not enough. That's not enough. Is it worth the trade? I think Whizcash plus Aleki actually just straight up beats Calyrex Shadow. But Nihiligo also doesn't knock out. It doesn't knock out my um my Zacian. So I could Icy Wind. Maybe I just go for the roll. I mean I can protect this turn. It doesn't matter. What am I thinking? Sludge Bomb, that's not coming close to KOing. I'm a freaking Whizcash, dude. I am king of bulk. King of bulk. Now watch the substitute play. Watch the substitute play. This is gonna be a game-winning play. You protect your Nihiligo here. Protect your Nihiligo, man. Protect it. There's a Whizcash in the field. What if I have Earth Power? Ooh, spooky. All right, get the sub up. Nice. And on this turn, I um, think I just Icy Wind because I should tank the Calyrex Shadow hit and go for my Behemoth Blade in the Calyrex Shadow. Because I don't die to Nihiligo, like under any situation. Keep my Whizcash. Behemoth Blade, that KOs, get the Icy Wind. Power Gem does not KO me. That's game. Good game. And I go for the Behemoth Blade. Nice. I really wish I could land a Fissure at some point in this battle, or in some point in this uh, session. Basically, Fissure is like just a desperation button. Like if if I have no other options, I gotta click Fissure. So I need to I need to I need to click Fissure conservatively. That's my issue. I get so excited to click Fissure that I just mess up. I'm like, okay, that was a terrible idea. Um, I really really like the Whizcash lead here. I think they're always gonna lead off, or they're always gonna bring. Sorry, into this matchup because I see a Whizcash and Incineroar so they can block fake out. What I could do. What I could do is lead off Regieleki and Incineroar. I'm gonna bring the Whizcash in the back. I know it's not great, but I have to. It's just for it's just for the video. It's just for the video. And I'll take that. I'll take that. What I can actually predict here is for the Zarina to come in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just volt switch on the station and go hard into Whizcash. Because they should try to get a KO here on my Incineroar. Yep. Watch how much I tank from this. Watch how much I take. And now I get in my Zacian. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Now check this out. Uh, what I can do here is take their Landorus from them. Just straight up. They have very few resistances. They can go into Incinera, but it's not worth pre it's not worth predicting that. I go for my Behemoth Blade and I can go into my Incinera. Because they should just go for the Drop Cake or the Power Rope, whatever they have here. They protect. That's fine. Get the KO, please. Nice. Nice. Okay. So they go into Urshifu Rapid Strike. I can just take the Zarina from them. Like, if they go Zacian, that's just bad. Uh, I'll Behemoth Blade here, and I can go into my Whizcash. Who should take this, I think. They go for the Double Protect. They don't get it. Surging Strikes. That's not enough, bro. That's not enough. 
And what I can actually do here is go into my Incineroar and Icy Wind, and that makes it so I don't have to deal with speed. Um, I don't have to deal with the speed tie. And I get the minus one. That's fine. Breaking the Sash on this guy's perfectly fine with me. I don't care if I lose my Urshfu. Or if I lose my Incineroar. Because I still break the Sash, get in my Regieleki, and start clicking Electro Web. And I think Electro Web should KO the Urshifu. And that will make it slower than my than my boy. So I can just go for a Scald here. Ooh, he lived. Okay. Kind of sucks, but they need to KO Regieleki. Yeah, check this out. And now, um, there's Asian shouldn't be able to KO me, so I always target it here and go for a Protect. I always target the Urshifu, I mean. Yeah, I target the Urshifu, go for a Protect. Scald should do it from this range. Because a little special effect. Oh my god, it's still faster? I don't know why I thought it'd be faster. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, this is still winnable. Um... <laughs> Marcus, you idiot, you idiot, you're so dumb, you're so dumb. I can go for Fissures. Let me think. Uh, I think my best bet is Fissure because it's the same chance as a Scald Burn. I need a Scald Burn anyway, so... <sighs> please, Whizcash, please clutch it. We did not clutch, we did not clutch. Marcus, you idiot. You should have just attacked, okay. Why, did I do that math wrong? Let me think. So Urshifu caps out, at... is he Scarf Urshifu? Because 163, am I doing my math wrong? Or, what am I saying? Divide by 1.5. 163 divided by 2, because we got an Icy Wind and an Electro Web off on him. 81.5. Yeah, that man was Scarf Urshifu, right? Let me double check. Electro Web on the Urshifu, so that's minus 1. Icy Wind, yeah, he was Scarf Urshifu. That's crazy. Okay. GLHF. Uh, not a not a terrible game for Whizcash, to be honest. I'm so upset about that. Okay. Hmm. Because I played that really well. I played that really well. It's the scarf they got me. Uh, I can go into... I can pretty safely lead off Incineroar again. I think Incineroar like he's still super safe. I can also technically go Incinerization. And I should be able to get off a sub if they lead off with um, Tailwind plus Lando. Was Cash in the back. And my own Lando isn't looking terrible. But I might get away with a Moongus a little bit better. Uh, I think I'll do a Moongus. Yeah, a Moongus looks really nice here. Alright, nice. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna... I'm gonna Parting Shot on the Arcanine and get in my Amoongus, because that should be safe. I could also get in Whizcash. I'll go Whizcash. And then get in my Amoongus. Yeah. Time to start clicking fun buttons. Time to start clicking the fun buttons. Let me go ahead and click a... I think I want to get rid of this Suicune early. I can go for a Spore on the Arcanine. It might be Safety Goggles. I guess if that's the case, I can Spore the Suicune and go for Fissure. This Whizcash is going to sit on the field for a while unless a Rillaboom comes in. And if the Rillaboom does come in and I land the Fissure, it's just gone. And they shouldn't be able to KO me unless they have, like, I don't know. Burn up plus Ice Beam. There's the Lando. Nice. Flare Blitz. Gonna get the Spore off on the Lando. And I connect the Fissure. I connect the Fissure. Spore on the Lando. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And that tells me that their last Pokemon is gonna be the Zacian. So what I can start doing is they shouldn't go into Zacian yet. They should absolutely not go into Zacian. I can click Icy Wind on the Lando twice. And that should be good. I could also Ice Beam it twice, but it's probably safer just to Icy Wind. This is Asian crowned. Uh, I can go into my Incineroar here, and I'm in Icy Wind. 
just to lower that Zacian Crown speed a little bit so I don't have to mess with speed tie later on in the game. Picking with Blade. Icy Wind, connect, awesome, awesome, awesome. And that's within range of Ice Beam, so I can just take that from him. Fake out, Ice Beam. Actually, I should fake out you. Just in case you wake up. Yep. And that's gone. <laughs> Time to start clicking Scald. Time to start clicking Scald. Let me go into my Amoongus. And I guess if I do two more Icy Winds, it cancels out his Tailwind, which is really nice for me. I'll do that. Turn the timer. That's doing nothing. That's doing nothing. Oh yeah, here we go. No more Tailwind for you, sir. And now, now you gotta focus on this Amoongus. Psych, Icy Wind again. Don't have Icy Wind on your Suicune, please. Protects. There's the Behemoth Blade. Awesome. Uh, at this point, I don't need to click Icy Wind anymore. I'm going to fake out and start clicking Scald. Because a burn just secures me the game. No burn for me. Uh, go into my Amoongus here, just going to Scald again. Could also Fissure. I think I'm better off just Scalding. Take this burn. Take this burn, please. Ah, no burn. Okay, uh, Whizcash goes down, but he did his job. I can go ahead and spore you. Fake out you. Yep. And that should be game, because I can just start clicking Grass Knot and Flare Blitz, and that'll KO me regardless, so... Even if you, like... I, I always lose my Incineroar here, which is great. Because next turn, I just go into my, um... How much does that Grass Knot do? 100? That's enough. Yeah, and this turn I just Flare Blitz, because regardless of what he does, I get a free switch into my uh, Zacian. Nice. And just keep clicking Grass Knot. Uh, burns don't matter at this point in the game, I just Behemoth Blade. Because he's at 0.4 speed, I'm always faster. Yep. That should be game. Uh, Rage Powder, Close Combat seals it up. GG, well played. Nice. He's probably pretty mad about that uh that turn one fissure. No, no, he's not. Okay, good sport. I think he's mostly just like happy you saw Wizcash do something. When you beat someone with with Wizcash, they don't get mad because they're like, oh, I'm so glad someone's using this thing, you know. Ooh, this is interesting. This is actually this looks similar to a team that I built. Uh, I'm a big fan of Dustman to Krosma plus Zapdos because they actually cover each other super, super well. Incineroar and Volcarona are the biggest issues for um, Dustmane and Krosma, and this just annihilates both of them. So what I can do is lead off with Wizcash, because Wizcash also kind of beats this thing. Um, and I can go Regieleki as well. Incineroar in the back is a must. And I think I actually don't bring my Zacian to this matchup. I'm actually tempted to bring Lando instead. And the reason I want to bring Lando is because it's much better versus Torkoal. It's much better versus... Um, What's it called? It's much better versus Dustmane Necrozma. And as long as they lead off with like Dustmane Necrozma plus Zapdos, I feel pretty good. Because I can just click Scald. <laughs> I want to I wanna burn things. Uh, the Tapu Vulu is going to be annoying though. Okay. Uh, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. They should fake out the Regieleki like every time. So if I can get an early, if I can get an early burn, that'd be great. And I can get an early Intimidate as well. Hopefully they're not White Herb, because I know White Herb's actually a halfway decent item on a Krosma right now. White Herb Swords Dance is really fun, but I'm a bigger fan of Mental Herb Swords Dance. Yeah, White Herb. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go for another Scald. And I'm in a parting shot. Because they shouldn't be able to KO me. Like, not even like Earthquake or whatever. Unless they have like Super Power. Does... No, Necrozma doesn't get Fighting Stab. I know Solgaleo does, but Necrozma doesn't. Which doesn't make sense because he stole his body. Like, like realistically speaking, you should get all the moves that it does, right? There's Tapu Bulu. I mean, I just Parting Shot you now, don't I? 
Oh, I don't want to lose this thing because it's so threatening to his team. Very few Pokemon actually hit it. Uh, I'm willing to sack the Aleki for this. He could also CC, which is concerning. I'd rather Parting Shot you right now. Sunseal Strike. Oh, don't close combat. Okay, cool. I'm faster. I'm going to go into my Waste Cash now. There it is. Okay. Now I can double out into my Incineroar. And protect. There's the Torkoal. I have Fake Out pressure now. But I could also just... I think I should Fake Out. I think what I can do, actually, is go for a Volt Switch on the Torkoal. I don't mind losing my Sash early. And Fake Out this thing. Because an Eruption would be devastating. Okay. That's fine. I don't, I don't mind that much. Citrus Berry. Gonna get in my Whizcash here. And that should allow me a Parting Shot in the Krosma. And I'm also gonna go for a Scald, because a Scald burn in this game is gonna be major. It's gonna be absolutely huge for winning. I suppose I just go for the Fissure anyways. My chances of landing a Scald in the Fissure are the exact same. I'm gonna Parting Shot regardless. Missed my Fissure, that's fine. Parting Shot. Gonna go right into a Leckie. Say Darkest Lair at me, doesn't do much. They Trick Room, and... I should just be able to Fissure... They should protect this, this thing, really. I'm gonna Fissure the Incineroar now. They should always protect Necrozma in this situation. At least if I were them, I would do that. I think I take both of these. Come on, connect. Nope. Uh, I do get one more Fissure. And he should protect Necrozma, so I'm going to Fissure again and go for the Incineroar. I think you always protect Necrozma here. Yep, Torkoal comes out. Can I get this Fissure? No fissure for me. Okay, that kind of sucks. I think I lose. <laughs> I think I, I think I was a little too fissure happy this game. Um, I mean, I don't lose yet. They don't have any sun. I always go Lando here. And back into Incineroar. And I should take a piece from them. I'm actually going to make a really, really hard read here. Because um, they could double protect. They could double protect. So what makes I, it makes me want to actually just go ahead and take the Torkoal from them. If I Sludge Bomb the Necrozma, it's, it's just so bad. I think I go for it. Because they can't knock out my Lando. Ah, I called it wrong. Called it wrong. Okay. On the bright side, uh, if they're Trick Room Bulu, I should be faster, so I can always just make a very hard read, to be honest. This is going to be a very hard read. I think they stay in. I think they stay in, because they should know they live. You don't use an Necrozma and don't calc to live this, this hit. Yeah. Horn Leech, I keep my Lando. That's huge. That's huge. Because the rest of their team's super slow. Okay, okay. Uh, I can go into my Aleki here and protect because they should always... I could also Parting Shot Bulu because they should always fake out Lando. Lando threatens literally everything on their side of the field right now. Ooh. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. let me get in my Aleki here. Please tell me you just doubled this thing. Flare Blitz, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, Bulu is like always, always, always going to be running the Assault Vest item, but it never lives this hit. So I'm hoping that Thunderbolt is enough here. I can't, I can't make this read. Like, it's not worth it. Yeah, okay, I win. 
Good game. Good game. You see, when you know Necrozma Dustmane, like I know Necrozma Dustmane, you know when you stay in. You have to know when they stay in. Alright, let's see if we can beat Sun now. And let's see if we can get one more Fissure. <laughs> let's see if we can get one more Fissure. I'm going to lead off Incinero or Whiskash. Um, oh, that's so scary though, that's so scary. I'm going to go Whiskash, Regieleki, Incineroar. Nah, I always go Amoongus in this game, don't I? Okay, 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 okay. Think Marcus thing. Whiskash, Among Us. No, because that still loses to the lead. I'm, it's so scary leading off versus Zapdos. One would assume they would predict the Incineroar lead, considering how good it is versus Venusaur. So what I can do is... I can go... I'm still going to go Whizcash. I'm actually going to go Whizcash, Aleki, Incineroar, Zacian. Okay, good. That's actually a really solid lead for me. That is actually really, really good for me. Um, I think a Thunderbolt plus an Ice Beam should be enough to KO Whimsicott. But I got also just Scald and Volt Switch in the Zapdos. They usually have Protect. They, they kind of have to have Protect. So I'm willing to Volt Switch the Whimsicott. As they just... I would have just taken the Zapdos. That kind of sucks. Go to my Zacian. Nice. Uh, but I think that gives them a free switch into Groudon, which is awful for me. I could Fissure it, and that'd be huge. I'm going to go for it. <laughs> I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I feel so stupid doing this. Come on. You can take it. You can take this. You can take this. It's just a P-Blades. It's just a P-Blades. It's just a P-Blades. Get... Ah. Oh. <laughs> it was just a P-Blade, man. It was just a P-Blade. Okay. So they should double, I think. Um, If they double the Zacian, and I get this, that'd be huge. If they miss, please miss. They don't miss. Okay. I can do this now. Oh, no. I mean, they should predict me to fake out the Zapdos here, so I can fake out the Groudon and go for a sub. And that might save me the game. They haven't clicked Protect yet, which is concerning. I think I just lose. They quick guard. That's game. Actually, no. Uh, they missed the P-Blades, apparently. Okay. So if they miss again... Actually, no. They hit the P-Blades. What? I just had enough health. Awesome. Okay. So my play here. They need to break the sub. So I can go for a Flare Blitz on you and Protect. As they, they make that read. Okay, good game. <laughs> good game. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. We'll do one more game with this team. Okay. This one's interesting. Uh, Psychic Seed, Drift Blim. Interesting, okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go Wizcash again on lead. There's no reason not to lead off Incineroar in this game. Uh, Amoongus isn't looking as great. Definitely still want my Aleki. I think Amoongus is fine, actually. Yeah. Uh, so what I can do here is I should just be able to go for, like, a free Snarl. There's, like, no reason not to. And I'm, I'm just going to Fissure. I'm just going to Fissure. Give me this Ndidi. That'd be great. If I could take Ndidi early, that'd be awesome. Did you, did you just burn me? Why why do, why do you fear the... Why does everyone fear the Whizcash so much? It doesn't make sense. Also, Psychic and DD. That's interesting. Wouldn't you want to run Expanding Force? Um, I mean, I can just go Amoongus and Snarl here. I should tank the hit. I 
So they strength up. I'm willing to do this. I should tank the head. Tailwind. Easy. Snarl up. Get this going. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I still tank the hit, so I'm just going to Spore again. They might be safety goggles, but I'm willing to take the risk since I am Regenerator and they aren't doing much to me. Awesome, awesome. Let me go right into my Zacian Crowned and Snarl again. They wake up. That's fine. What I can actually do here is Substitute. Um... Actually, no, I should go back into Wizcash because they should just go for the burn and snarl once more. Or they should go for the Will O Wisp on me, so I can't really sub because they're faster. They miss, that's not that it matters, you know. They crit me, which kind of sucks, because now Wizcash is on a bit of a timer. Hmm. I think I give them Wizcash and attempt to fissure. Awesome. Get this fake out pressure. Should be able to sleep the Groudon if they're not carrying Protect for some reason. Uh, but it is in my best interest to sleep this Drip Blim. Actually, mm, not necessarily. I think I always just Spore Groudon. They Protect, that's fine. I'm going to Parting Shot. And attempt to Spore again. They did 5% with the freaking Shadow Ball. So if they miss this, I'm, I'm in a good spot. Strength set, that's fine. No, okay, I'll lose. Oh well, oh well. This wasn't necessarily the most serious of videos, obviously, but I would have enjoyed an extra win. Good game. All right, yeah, but like that was that was just the uh, the little Wizcash team that I built in the showdown room. As you can see, Wizcash has its merits, but a lot of it relies on landing fissure, which really sucks, right? Icy Wind Scald, Ice Beam is a lot more consistent. As you might have noticed, the games that I won, I hardly clicked Fissure. It was mostly a matter of Icy Wind and uh, Scald being very useful. So yeah, let me know what you think about Wizcash in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.